everyone, it's your girl Jennifer Denny, aka the Black Honey Badger. I'm coming to y'all today because what I'm about to talk about has been weighing on me for a while. A woman, and I use the term loosely, named Nikki Buchanan, wrote a post on Facebook that I believe was done about last year. I'm going to read you the post and then I'm going to comment about it. We're going to talk about it. All right, so here we go. Black people are matriarchal in nature. America is patriarchy at its best. We will never win unless we understand this. Your family most likely had your mama, big mama, tante, my tante, etc. at the helm. And the family thrives when they listen to their women. A man can never leave my home. He can only support me as I strategize. A man's role in my home is to support and execute the plans I have thought out. A man cannot be the sole decision maker. You will not lead me to destruction simply because you have a penis and a body that is physically brawnier than mine. I come with intuition, foresight, and the ability to create worlds from my mind. You come with the ability to lift heavy things earn more money than I can simply because you are a man and you have the stamina to physically work harder than me. I am the architect, you are the labor. Argue with your mother. <laughs> All right, so now my first thought, the very first thing that popped into my, into my mind is, this is really why black men should hate us. And I mean, I know they don't, but they should. This is why there are MGTOWs, men who go their own way, and I don't blame them one bit. Because really, who would want this kind of woman as their mate? This right here is the very reason that there is a black order and a black manosphere. Because bitches like this are running the household, raising effeminate men and masculine women. What she said in this post is exactly why y'all need protection and defense. And what's worse is that when I read the post on Facebook, there were a bunch of women commenting negatively, but not about what she said, that she said it. She let the cat out of the bag and said, say secrets and shit. What the fuck? How did we get here? How do we go from being beautiful families where the man is edified to this gynocratic bullshit? Oh, right, feminism. She twisted the fact that the black woman has a primacy of place in the community. This makes me wonder if even there is a man in her home and if there is baby, from me to you, I am so sorry. While yes, women come with intuition and foresight, it is the man who has to navigate the world and bring back the spoils of war so that those he loves have what they need. It is the man who is spoon fed the art of war with his cereal. It is the man who is taught to be a physical being so that he can go out there and make the world safe for us. While we thank mama, it is really papa who makes sure we have enough to eat, a place to rest, and clothes on our backs. By his efforts do we thrive, bitch. So let me get this right. Women can create worlds with our imagination, right? Tell me, how do those worlds come into fruition? Without your so-called laborer, how can the world be anything other than in your damn imagination? And tell me why. Why is it only a man's utility that is praised? I never understood that. Men are so much more than tools on a tool belt. They are smart, beautiful, and strong of heart. Black men are lions, bitch, not house cats. <sighs> and if for some reason you can't see that, 
I'm gonna suggest that you go talk to your father. Oh shit, wait, shit. I get it now. Do you even know your father? Right, I understand. I understand. Your father left your mother, and all this drag bullshit you're writing is her inheritance to you. I have a tip for you and all of you who believe this bullshit. Look, look around at the world. Look at the world around you. Look at your communities. Better yet, look at where you came from. Do you see it yet? This is the bullshit ass world that we created. How does it look? Thank you so much for rocking with me, y'all. And to all my black honey badgers, keep your claws sharp, your hearts pure, and your minds clear.